everybody this is Jen welcome to my channel today I'm going to be sharing another winter sowing tip it's going to be about how to protect your seedlings when it gets really cold outside so stay tuned right here on Garden Jen's Journey Okay, so sometimes we have sprouts that are growing in our jugs beautifully and then we have a cold snap come in. Now, most crops that sprout early are your cold crops like your brassicas and, and uh, your lettuces and spinach and some cold hardy uh, flowers. And they do just fine in the cold uh, because they sprout when it's cold and that's the time that they grow. But there are times that you'll have a really warm spell and maybe it's really, really warm too soon and those cold crops sprout or your warm crops sprout too soon and then the temperatures dive back down into your normal cold temperatures or you have a freak cold snap. So that's what I'm going to be talking about with you today. So here in zone 5B, uh, Michigan, central Michigan actually, for me. Um, we generally do not plant anything until after Memorial Day. Some people say Mother's Day, but it's still way too mm -hmm. soon for like your uh, tomatoes, your peppers, uh, your more tropical, warm loving plants. So we generally say wait until after Memorial Day because that's usually when our last frost is. Um, but later, uh, lately, it's been later and later, like into June, that we'll get a freak frost that will kill those warm loving plants. And the same goes for our seedlings that we're growing in our winter sown containers. Um, generally when we're growing them, they will sprout um, around March or April depending on the weather here. And those cold crops can be planted at the end of April, early May, uh, because they love the cold. But even then, we might have a really, really cold snap that we have to protect those young seedlings because they can't take it that cold. And what I mean by that cold is when it's 10 degrees or colder, even your cold loving uh, crops, when they're just little, are really going to struggle and could easily be killed off by those really cold temperatures when they're first getting going. So with those crops and with warm loving crops that may have sprouted a little too soon, we have to protect those. How do we protect them? Well, a lot of people say that you take your jugs inside where it's warm. No, that's actually the worst thing you can do. When you're talking that it's outside and it's like 30s or 40s, maybe 50s or 60s depending on your zone, and then uh, you all of a sudden take them inside where it's 70, 80, 90 degrees depending on your particular home environment, you're actually very stressing those plants and you can kill them by shock. Just like when you try to harden your seeds that you're growing inside before you bring them outdoors, they need that time to acclimate. You cannot take plants that have been out in the cold and throw them into a warm environment and expect great results. So instead, we bring out coverings here. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this is my rose bed. I've got more roses that I've got planted in here that are brand new this year. And one of them had a lot of foliage. And so because we're uh, in the 20 degrees uh, temperatures, I covered them. And uh, you can see that my older roses, they're doing just fine with the temperatures dropping around 20 degrees here. But because that one is brand new, and we had a cold snap, I covered it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uncover it because it is during the day when it's warmer and the sun's out, so it can get that radiant heat and the sunshine that it needs to photosynthesize and grow stronger roots. All right, so I've got our rows uncovered, and then I'm gonna take you over to our jugs. 
So here's my group of winter sewn jugs. And you can see that most of them are covered. Um, I have a few that uh, these are duds. They have to be replanted because they got killed in a cold snap about two weeks ago. So I actually have to replant these ones. Those ones have not germinated yet. But all these ones had germinated. So all these had germinated. And like I said, most of them were cold hardy crops and probably would have been okay, but it got really, really cold. We're talking 20 degrees or less some nights. So I just grouped them all together and covered them with a blanket. You want to cover them with cloth, not plastic. Um, plastic is really bad for holding on to the condensation and actually making it colder. So I'm just using an old blanket. Now I'm going to uncover these like I did for the rose and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the jugs uncovered. You can see they fared pretty well. Even the one that didn't have a top because its container actually broke is looking beautiful. I probably can plant that uh, either today, late today, or tomorrow because it's actually a cold loving crop. And I do have covers for my containers where I plant my cold crops. Let me show you some of the other crops that are in here. So you can see my chard is doing beautifully and so is my spinach these are some straw flowers and these are some snapdragons that just sprouted and snapdragons don't like the cold so you can see that they're doing just fine with having them covered with the blanket got some lambs here going on there and my carrots are doing beautifully. So just covering them with a blanket really helps protect those crops when you need to against the cold temperatures. So I hope that gives you some validation on what to do when it gets really, really cold outside and you've got seedlings that you're a little concerned about. Like I said, most of the time when it dips down, cold hardy crops are just fine. But if you're looking at 20 degrees or below, I'd just go ahead and throw a blanket over them. Just make sure that during the day you remove that blanket so it can get the sunshine and the air circulation. Nothing kills plants faster than no air circulation and a very damp environment. So get those jugs open back up so they can get some fresh air and some sunshine. So I hope this video was resourceful and helping you understand what to do uh, when it gets really cold with your winter sewing containers. If you found this video valuable, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below so you can be part of the journey for other gardening tips, tricks, and trials, as well as all the other stuff I do here on the homestead. And until next time, everybody, I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.